Did you know that Gerard Wertheimer, co-owner of the luxury brand Chanel, is one of the most private billionaires in the world? Yes, the man who shares ownership of a brand that is synonymous with high fashion and luxury is as elusive as a chameleon. Gerard Wertheimer shrouds himself in mystery, making public appearances as rare as a blue moon. This enigmatic fashion mogul is a puzzle waiting to be solved. Despite his reclusive nature, we have managed to unearth some fascinating facts about this fashion mogul. Starting off our countdown at number 10, Gerard Wertheimer was born in 1951, in the heart of Paris, France. His early days were steeped in the world of fashion, thanks to his family's prominent status in the industry. His grandfather, Pierre Wertheimer, was a co-founder of the iconic brand Chanel, a name synonymous with haute couture. Gerard, from a young age, was immersed in this glamorous world, shaping his future in profound ways. So, the roots of fashion run deep in his family. At number 9, Gerard and his brother Alain inherited the Chanel brand from their father in 1974. This wasn't just a simple passing of the baton, but a monumental task of upholding a legacy that has its roots deep in the fashion world. The brothers didn't disappoint. They embraced their roles, steering the Chanel brand with a visionary zeal. Their combined efforts saw Chanel not only maintain its iconic status, but also expand its reach globally. And under their leadership, Chanel has grown into a global powerhouse. Coming in at number 8, Gerard Wertheimer is famously secretive. This fashion mogul prefers to keep his personal life under wraps, far from the prying eyes of the world. His dedication to privacy is almost as legendary as his fashion house, Chanel. Gerard's world is not one of red carpet events or public appearances, but rather one of quiet elegance and discretion. He isn't one to court the media or flaunt his wealth. His life is as exclusive as the products his brand sells. At number 7 did you know that Gerard Wertheimer is also a successful racehorse owner? Not just a fashion mogul, Gerard has a knack for the equine world. His interest in thoroughbred racing isn't just a hobby, it's a pursuit that has brought him considerable success. Owning some of the top winning horses in the industry, he's made a name for himself in this high stakes field. So, Gerard Wertheimer isn't just about haute couture and luxury goods, Fashion isn't his only passion, it seems. Number 6 on our list, Gerard Wertheimer's net worth is estimated at a staggering $30 billion. This is not just a number, it signifies his position among the world's wealthiest folks. More than just a fashion mogul, Wertheimer is a financial giant, his wealth dwarfing many of his industry peers. His massive fortune places him in a league of his own, a testament to his business acumen and the luxurious allure of the Chanel brand. He truly is a titan of the fashion industry. Halfway through our list at number 5, Gerard Wertheimer is also known for his philanthropy. While he may be a titan in the world of fashion, he also uses his resources to support medical and educational causes. From funding research for rare diseases to providing scholarships for promising students, his philanthropic efforts are as extensive as they are impactful. He's not just about the glitz and glam of fashion, he's also about making a difference in people's lives. His generosity extends beyond the world of haute couture. At number 4, Chanel under Gerard Wertheimer's leadership has a presence in more than 190 countries. The brand's influence is truly global, reaching the farthest corners of the world. From bustling metropolises like New York and Tokyo to smaller cities and towns, you'll find Chanel's signature mark. This legendary fashion house has not only designed clothes, but also shaped international trends, becoming a symbol of elegance and luxury. It's a testament to Wertheimer's vision and acumen. Chanel's iconic logo is recognized around the globe. Number three on our list, despite his immense wealth, Gerard prefers a simple and private lifestyle. Strikingly different from the extravagant splendor synonymous with Chanel, Gerard savors the charm of simplicity. He chooses to remain a mystery, away from the prying eyes of the public. His love for privacy is such that he rarely makes public appearances, keeping the focus on the brand rather than himself. This billionaire's penchant for seclusion is an intriguing contrast to the flamboyance of his fashion empire. His lifestyle is as enigmatic as the man himself. At number 2, Gerard Wertheimer is dedicated to preserving Chanel's heritage. As the co-owner of one of the world's most prestigious fashion houses, he firmly believes in honoring the legacy of its founder, Coco Chanel. This commitment is reflected in the timeless elegance of Chanel's designs, which continue to echo Coco's unique style. Gerard's stewardship also extends to the preservation of the brand's history and values. 
His relentless efforts ensure that Chanel's illustrious past is not forgotten. He is the guardian of Chanel's storied past. And finally at number one, despite being a billionaire, Gerard Wertheimer maintains an incredibly low profile. In a world where billionaires flaunt their wealth, Gerard is a refreshing exception. He is rarely seen in public, and there are hardly any photographs of him available. This billionaire chooses to live life away from the limelight, making infrequent public appearances. His understated lifestyle is a testament to his focus on work and family over fame. In an age of celebrity CEOs and public personas, Gerard Wertheimer is a study in discretion. There you have it, the top 10 facts about Gerard Wertheimer, the elusive co-owner of Chanel. We've delved into his early days, shedding light on the formative years that laid the foundation for his future. We've explored the family business, a legacy upheld by the Wertheimer family for generations. We've peeked into his secretive lifestyle, a testament to his love for privacy and discretion. Our journey took us to the racetracks where his thoroughbred success story unfolded. We've taken a look at his massive fortune, a byproduct of his strategic leadership and business acumen. We've admired his philanthropic efforts, a reflection of his commitment to giving back. We've traced his global presence, a sign of Chanel's undeniable reach. We've understood his love for heritage and preservation, a characteristic that sets him apart. And finally, we've acknowledged his low-profile approach, a contrast to his high-profile brand. Despite his reclusiveness, Gerard Wertheimer's impact on the fashion world is undeniable. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of the man behind the iconic brand.